guys so in this video we talk about negativity bad energy and how to deal with it without necessarily cutting everybody out of your life so let's get into this video i hope you enjoy it hey fam how are you doing today welcome back to my channel my name is toby achidume if this is your first time here you are super welcome i am so excited to have you here with me so here on this channel, we talk about topics, tips and tricks that helps us grow fearlessly into the best versions of ourselves. So if you're interested in videos like that, please click the subscribe button so you get notified when we have new videos up. If you are a subscribed member, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as you have enjoyed the other ones. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and give it a thumbs up because I know you will like it. So today we are looking at how to deal with negative energy, how to deal with negativity or bad vibes or how to stay away from them. I mean, technically you cannot stay away from them because some people just have them. So let's look at how to deal with it so it doesn't affect you. So before I start to say the things that I think you could do to help you to deal with negativity, I would say that there are some people that are just going to be negative all the time. There are some people that are always in your circle, that are always going to have negative vibes and you just have to know how to deal with it. Some people are just always going to be bitter people. They do not have joy for whatever reason. They are always picking on what is not done right. They are always seeing things that are faulty, things that they can capitalize on and hurt you with. There are some people that are always going to be like that and some of them you have in your circle, some of them are your family members, some of them are your friends that you just don't know what to do with them anymore. And sometimes or oftentimes these things get to us. So when there is negative vibe, when there is a negative thing said, when there is somebody that always has negative energy, when there is somebody that always have negative energy it gets to us it affects us it affects our mood and sometimes it also makes us to react in a negative way and negativity is not something that you want to be passing around we always want to pass positive vibes and so because of that we need to learn how to deal with these people and these actions and these kind of situations when we find ourselves in them and so that's why i'm going to be sharing with you a few things that i know you could do that would help you to deal better with negativity and negative energy including when there are people that you cannot but see every single day so let's get into this video the first thing i'm going to say is that you need to accept that there are some people that do not need a reason to not like you i'm not going to say hate because hate is a strong word but there are some people that are just not going to like you. There are some people that cannot just stand you because of different reasons. So it could be because they cannot stand your progress, they cannot stand your growth, they cannot stand your person, they cannot stand your smell. It could be for anything. It could be for a serious reason or for a very stupid reason. But there are always going to be such people. And this is expected because lie to yourself or not there are some people that you do not like and you cannot particularly say that this is why i don't like them it just is something that is you just don't like this person for whatever reason you may have reasons and sometimes you don't have reasons so knowing that there are people that you do not like for any reason should make you understand that there are some people that will not like you for any reason they may just not like you because of the name that you bear. So if you do not like everybody, you don't like every single person, there are what, over 7 billion people in the world and you are sure not to like some of them, what makes you think that everybody is going to like you and always going to want to give you positive vibes? It doesn't work like that. So you should accept that not everybody is going to like you case in point is jesus so jesus died for the whole world he died for every single person and there are still people that do not like him so there are always going to be people that do not like you they don't like your vibe they don't like your energy they don't like your person just know that and just accept that yes such people exist and some of them exist in my circle so let's try this for a bit sit down and think briefly 30 seconds and just try to think who do i not like right now who do i not really like right now you would see that some names will pop up in your head so if that happens for you you can just imagine that it happens for other people when they think about you 
So the second thing I'm going to say is that you should learn to empathize with people and sometimes make excuses for them. No lies, there are going to be some people that you cannot make excuses for but there are some others that you can make some excuses for. So empathize with people. For example, just think you do not know what side of the bed this person woke up on this morning. Maybe that is why they are so negative or why they are picking up fault from every single thing that you are doing. Sometimes they are bitter from experiences that they have had or challenges that they are going through in the moment that they just cannot share. And so because of that, they are holding on to so much and they don't know how to let it out. And so the only way they can do that is to just be bitter. And when you're bitter, you are negative. It could also be that they do not even know how to be positive anymore because they have gotten so used to being negative. It has become a lifestyle. So make such excuses for them, empathize with them and just think this person is having a bad day. This person is going through a difficult time. So when you're able to do that, you're able to exclude yourself from the feel or thinking that the person actually hates or dislikes you and just thinking that the person is being negative because of whatever it is that they are going through or whatever has happened to them. So it's you taking away the responsibility of their dislike from you and putting it on whatever it is that they have gone through. I hope that makes sense. So make excuses for them, empathize with them and just think, yeah, you're going through a tough day, you had some bad news or something and excuse that and excuse their behavior with that. Third, I'm going to say set boundaries. You need to set boundaries. Like this is something that I feel we hear a lot of times, but we still do not do it. Maybe we don't know how to do it, but it is important to set boundaries. So setting boundaries helps you to be able to say, look, I do not like how you react to me. I do not like how you talk to me because it is way out of my zone. And I'm going to exclude, I'm going to take myself out of this because I don't want you to get to me. That is you setting boundaries. Setting boundaries means you're able, you're not frightful of telling them that what they are doing is not what you want them to be doing. This is not how I treat myself, so I do not expect you to treat me in that way. So with you setting boundaries, you are making sure that people are not treating you the way you do not want to be treated. And if they are doing such, you are able to remove yourself from there and know that this is not for you. This friendship is not for me. This relationship is not for me. This circle is not for me because it does not help me. It only brings me down. And the only way that you know this for sure is because you have boundaries. So when somebody is crossing them, you're able to see that the person is crossing them and caution them. Sometimes we're dealing with negativity and not letting the person that is being negative know that they have such influence over you. We tend to not say a lot about it. So you dealing with negativity doesn't mean you stay in the place and let them disrespect you or let them talk trash about you. It is also you respecting yourself enough to remove yourself from a situation where you are affected by bad energy or negativity. So yes, they don't have power over you, they don't have influence over you, but that doesn't mean you should sit there and let them see that they do not have it and then you go back home and then you're crying over what they have said. If it is getting to you, make sure you let them know and take yourself away from that situation. And with all of this that I have said, if you still cannot deal with the negative energy that these people are bringing, please by all means take yourself away from the situation. So don't say again that you're trying to show that this person does not have power over me and then you sit there and let them beat you down, let them talk trash about you. No, please cut them off if they are still too negative for you to handle. So I know the point of dealing with negativity is because there are so many people that they just have negative energy but you still want them in your life. If it is getting you upset, if it is affecting you too badly, too much, cut them off, take yourself away from that situation, but explain to them that this is the reason why you are doing this. Sometimes you don't even owe them an explanation, you just cut them off. But if it is a relationship or if it is something that you really do not want to let go, you could explain to them and let them see reasons why you are doing what you are doing. This may either help them to change their negative energy or just let you know that yeah, you should definitely cut this person out of your life. So to recap, four ways that you can deal with negative energy when it comes to you or when it's in your space is one, you should know that not everybody is going to like you because you yourself do not like everybody. Two, you should learn to empathize with people because sometimes people are just bitter for no reason and cannot stand not being negative. 
Three, you need to set boundaries for yourself and for your healthcare. You should set boundaries so that you are a better person and you are not always beaten down by what people say. And then four, if you still need to cut them off, please cut them off and don't feel guilty about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there is anything you would like to share with me on this topic, if there is another way that you can deal with negativity that I have not shared, please share with me in the comment section. Let's have a conversation down there as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and family and give it a thumbs up. Thank you again and I will see you in the next one. Till next time, bye.